Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chris. I'm coming to you with another one of my crazy crossroads. I am actually, um, today I, uh, I'm looking for some advice, some answers, uh, to some, some things, and I don't really know how to reach out or where to reach out. Um, as you know, we've had some family issues and, um, health and all that other good stuff, but my father's back in the hospital, um, and then I learned out some other information that I'm just trying to trying to deal with and come up with the right way to attack it. Um, as I've told you in the past, coming to you guys is therapeutic for me uh, using this camera. Um, there are three very influential people in my life. <clears throat> One of which is my grandfather on my mother's side. Um, he died when I was 16. He lives in New York. Uh, he lives, he's buried in New York, so I can't really go visit him. The other is uh, my father-in-law of my first marriage. Um, he was actually, geez, he was a great friend. Um, he's helped me, he's helped me tremendously in some life decisions. You know, we've all made mistakes in life and done some crappy things, but he's always been, he was always the clear head and uh, can talk you through anything. And then the other is my uncle who passed away a handful of years back of cancer. Now my father-in-law, he is, uh, he was cremated so there's no, no place I can go visit and try and speak with him. But I am gonna use that Necrophonic app. I, I purchased it myself. And I researched it a little more and um, I was watching a video with Steve Huff who seems to be a very, um, very knowledgeable person and uh, he had mentioned that that's definitely a great app to have to communicate with um, spirits so um, I guess the key is is to have passion and uh, I definitely do have that so today I'm here visiting my grandparents on my father's side and also my uncle John so down here Hey grandma, hey grandpa. This is my grand grandparents, Grandma Grace, Grandpa Jake, Jack, and up there is my Uncle John. So uh I don't come here a lot. Um it's tough for me to come come visit them, so it's kind of ironic that I enjoy going to cemeteries to bring footage, but I very rarely come here to visit, so I'm going to try this app. I'm going to see if I can get some help with them. I'm going to cut off for a quick second, sorry guys, to set up this stand. Getting a little uh, crazy here. But uh, I'm glad you guys are with me. This is going to be just kind of a cut and dry thing. And uh, I just want to see what I can capture and hopefully get some, some good advice from my family. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so here I am. Forgive me guys, I didn't sleep well last night. Yesterday was kind of a tough day, but um, so I probably <laughs> look like look like hell. But nonetheless, you guys are here with me. I'm going to try and speak with my family. <clears throat> and uh see what I can capture. So Grandma Grace died in 1996. Uh, she died in a car accident. So it was crazy. The ironic part of her death um, was the last time I saw her alive was at the actual intersection that the accident took place maybe four or five hours prior. Um, my grandfather was taking a left-hand turn and there were literally three blocks from their house and this young kid was speeding like crazy came around a a curve and uh hit her directly in her uh in her door so she she passed on from that it was a horrible day she was a wonderful unbelievably awesome lady little italian woman you couldn't walk in the house without getting a meal uh, it was one of those you know stereotypical uh, Italian 
upraising up <clears throat> upbringings um, so she was just the happiest person always dancing always just just awesome and then my grandfather died in 2004 um, of old age um, and he also had pancreatic cancer so um, you know he uh, he lived he lived uh, you know another eight years after grandma passed and it was it was hard for him because even though they were uh, they would crack you up every time you were together with them because they would uh, argue and complain and then they would kind of look at us and laugh it was like we got a kick out of it we always knew that it was a big deal if they started speaking in Italian so you knew it was a serious uh, fight but that was very rare um, I have wonderful wonderful memories with them um, and then <clears throat> my uncle Uncle John passed in 2014 uh, of leukemia and um, yeah just uh, just a wonderful person just the way he treated my aunt um, my aunt is my father's uh, sister um, yeah he, he, they actually lived around the the block from me and Sundays he would bring us bagels in the morning just random you know acts of kindness um, he was always caring loved, loved kids loved his grandchildren um, which uh, when I was in New York and we had the meet and greet, I got to see his some of his grandchildren and uh, got to tell them that uh, you know their grandpa loved them, loved them, and uh, you know uh, I also said he he sent me here to give them a hug and I was able to do that and they're young and it was touching for them and uh, it's just uh, he was a wonderful man. So like I said, the very in influential person to me. Um, Sometimes you learn a lot on how to um, how to act in life by by seeing how other people act in life, and um, you know uh, some people do things, and it seems like it's just a front, and then you get behind closed doors, and it's a different story. Well, uh, not with my uncle; just an amazing man. Um, if he wasn't doing things to help my aunt, uh, he was at the church, um, you know, just doing gardening and uh, just helping helping out all, all around. So um, the crazy thing was is, you know, I was there for him when, when he was passing. Um, and uh, in 2014, <clears throat> I had a trip scheduled for New York and um, the day prior to leaving, um, it took me about an hour and a half to get him out of bed. Uh, I had to lift him and all that stuff, but the pain was just so bad. And I was going to cancel my trip, <clears throat> and he told me not to. Um, so obviously I respected that, and uh, he passed the next day, uh, September 11th, uh, 2014. So um, anyway, <clears throat> excuse me just an awesome person awesome human being I'm gonna gonna tap into this app and I'm gonna see if I can if I can reach them um, I don't know if I really want to but <laughs> but I'm going to oh, I have to find it now there it is so as you know in our last video uh, which I, I haven't uploaded the second one uh, the second part of that video um, I will be doing so here shortly, so here we go. I don't know how I should shoot this. Maybe I'll just kind of come up here. <clears throat> Hello, Grandma, Grandpa, Uncle John. I love you <laughs> tremendously, and I miss you dearly. Um, as you know, there's some things going on here, um, some things that I don't want to elaborate on camera, but I'm sure you're aware of it. Um, and I come come to you to try and seek advice. And uh, God, I'm shaking, guys. I'm so nervous. So I just, but if you can, if you can come through to me, I would. Greatly appreciate it. 
Uncle John, are you here? Grandma, are you and Grandpa here? Can you please, can you please come through and speak with me? I hope, I hope you guys are resting in peace. I hope that you are all together. I'm having a hard time making anything out. Are you watch are you watching over daddy? And Aunt Joy? Are you Are you aware of how ill they are? Carson. Carson is my grandson. Are 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 you telling me that you you're? Are, did you say Carson? Uncle John, can you please come through to me? Can you speak to me, please? Grandpa, did I, did I hear you, Grandpa? Did you say what is he doing, Grandma? Are, are you talking about, are you talking about Daddy? Okay, so my father has been doing some things that um, has just been completely out of line. And I swear I heard a lady say, what is he doing? Which would make a lot of sense because my father has um, dementia. Did you tell me to stop? Yes. Grandma, is that you? Do you want me to stop recording? Yes. Grandma, can you tell me again? Is Are you uncomfortable with me recording this? Rough day. You know that I had a rough day. We all had a rough day yesterday. Mm. 
Mike. Mike is my father's name. Is there any kind of message that I can give? Is, is there anything? Is there anything that you need to tell me? No. Uncle John. Please come through to me, Uncle John, and confirm. Are are you are you at peace, Uncle John? Please come through. Did you tell me to take off? Are are you are you uncomfortable with me being here? Be quiet. Okay. If you're if you're trying to tell me um, that you're uncomfortable with me recording this, I am recording this so I can play it back and see if I, I can hear you. Are you looking after Aunt Joy and Daddy? Seems like my grandmother is talking to me. Grandma, can you tell me your name? Tell me your name. My grandmother's name is Grace. I believe that. Grandma, do you know that we named Amelia my daughter with Grace as her middle name in honor of you? Because I love you so much. Yeah, I miss you so much. I, I just want to know that everything that we are doing is okay. I miss you guys. 
and I, I, I come here seeking advice. If there's if there's anything you can tell me. Don't. I heard don't. Keep. Don't keep. Don't keep milk. Are you aware of everything that's going on? Yes, I swear I'm saying yes. I'm going to have to listen to a lot of this back. Do you know how much we miss you and how much we love all of you? Uncle John, I saw your your grandchildren and they're all doing absolutely wonderful. And they miss you and your daughter is is telling your story and, and keeping them informed on how wonderful of a man you are. Your legacy will live on through them. I need, to, I need to listen to a lot of this back, but... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this off. Just know that I miss you and I love you dearly. And I'm sorry I don't visit more often. Um, it's hard for me to, to do this. Just know I'm going to do the best I can to make the right decisions and and try and be strong for for uh, for everyone. I love you guys. There is a. Uh, <clears throat> There's an area over here, just a quick little story, that um, is a gravesite.
that years back I went to pick out for myself um, because I was only supposed to live three to five years and I'm going on six years now in case um, you guys aren't aware of my disease. Um, <clears throat> I picked out a spot and uh, it was a nice little area and I was contemplating on purchasing it. No one in my family was aware of uh, me doing so. And the funny thing is I'm a big giant fan, New York Giants. And one of the main reasons why I picked out this specific site was my neighbor, <laughs> uh, the person that had passed on and I would have been um, resting with for eternity on their gravestone was um, a New England Patriots symbol and some stuff about the Patriots. So a friend of mine um, ran this facility. So I said, I really want to be buried here. And, um, and I want to highlight two of the greatest Super Bowls that I've ever witnessed when we beat the Patriots. So uh, just to kind of tick his family off a little bit, kind of stick it to him. Um, I just, that's just my sense of humor. And um, anyway, guys, uh, I'm sorry. This is, might be a little somber. Um, I just wanted to try this here. I really think that my grandmother might have came through to me. Um, and if this camera wasn't running right now, I'd probably be crying like a little baby. So I'm trying to be a man. Um, <clears throat> but like I said, this is just going to be a cut and dry video. I'm actually just going to upload it and um, if you guys watch it, great. Um, please let me know what you think um, about the Necrophonic app. Um, and let me know if you hear anything um, also that can possibly help me um, in the comments. Uh, I appreciate you guys so much. I can't even tell you uh, how, how, how wonderful this is that I'm able to come. And uh, you guys are, are, my, um, are my therapy. It's, it's, it's really, really neat. Um, I was just having a rough day, rough night. Uh, my wife and Amelia wanted me to go on and explore with them, and I was kind of just being a little bummed out because I can't, we can't go see my father right now. Um, his sugar was over 600, and he's, he's, I don't know, the guy's just lucky to be hanging in there. So uh, I, I told them I didn't want to do it. I just kind of wanted to chill out, watch some football, and uh, it just came to me that I need to come here. And uh, like I said, I don't come here often. Um, I probably should, but it's just, uh, I don't know. I don't know, this doesn't, this doesn't bring me any sort of happiness or relief being here. Um, it just brings me uh, the memory of their end of life and uh, you know it's 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 sad to me it's sad I mean it's life and I'm aware of that and and I think of you know hey when my day comes what would I care if my family came to visit me um, I, you know I want I want my family to remember me for the good times and if this would remind them of the bad times and the end of life, then no, I wouldn't want them to come visit me. I want them to remember me for, you know, what I was, what I stood for, you know. Uh, I just want them to keep in, 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 their, in their mind uh, all the happy times. Again, I don't, I don't know whether or not that's, that's the right thing to do. When I go to New York, I, I never go visit my grandfather up there, and I should. Um, just, just hard, just really hard. Um, I'm sure, <clears throat> I'm sure there's a lot of people that feel the same way. I hope, if not, like I said, it's just my thoughts. So, um, thank you so much for letting me come to you with this. Um, I really appreciate you again. Uh, I love you guys so much. Um, keep on doing what you're doing, guys. Uh, thanks for sharing all my videos. Um, thanks for all the donations to my channel. Um, it's, it is very helpful. Um, thank you for the, 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 um, 
stuff I get in the mail, the little letters and stuff, I, I probably should address more and I probably should do a video and maybe just open stuff weekly and uh, speak on it. Um, I don't. I'm just like such a hectic person. Everything's all over the place. But um, I would uh, I would like to say again, thank you for all that. Um, when we get stuff in the mail, uh, it's always Amelia and I go into the post office and uh, we just we just we're so we're so excited and we open everything right there in the car and read it and look at it open the gifts shirts and whatever we just we just love all that stuff so but thank you again please see everything down in the description like share um give me a thumbs up if you don't mind um and i will see you guys soon i'll see you uh the next time probably uh probably gonna do uh the the trailer again i know we always say we're never going back there but um, I think I think we need to do another alone challenge in there. I think I do for redemption because I've only done the one in there. Um, and being there the other day with this Necrophonic app was really, really freaky. So I love you guys. Um, you might see this before you might see the second part of my other video just because uh, this is something that I, like I said, it's therapeutic to me. I want to get it out there. So um, plus you guys have seen probably Joe's video. Um, so um, I'll get it out there soon. It's just a little more... Uh, a little more in depth uh, with the editing. Uh, this, like I said, is gonna be pretty much cut and dry. I'm just gonna pop it up there and, and, and share it. So I love you guys, peace, thank you.